good society is one where we have compassion on everyone, even those who commit crimes, and we don't feel that they have to be just put away forever, but we want to help them. And by helping them, we help society. If they can come through the, the idea of their whatever crimes they've committed, if they can get past that, as my two sons did, society would be a much better place. A safe community is one where we know our neighbors and long to understand them better. I'm a big guy. I've always been a big guy. I feel safe pretty much anywhere I go. And to me, a safe community is where anybody, man, woman, child, can go out in the evenings and feel as safe as I do on the streets. I grew up in a very poor environment, and I know that a lack of love and attention creates a lot of insecurity. And the people around me ended up in prison. The people around me ended up committing crimes, maybe and not going to prison. And I feel like that safety, safety starts in that, the bosom of the home, I guess, and that people feel a sense of security, so food security. Security from violence in their own home, security from um, being taunted or bullied. You know, I think that that's, for me, the safety begins right there in the cradle of our everyday living. It's not about walking on the street and feeling safe, although that's a nice thing to feel. It's more of an intimate thing, I guess. The criminal act is never an isolated incident. There is the victim, there is the family of the victim, there is the offender, there is the family of the offender. There is the neighborhood where the trust has been broken and everyone feels less safe. Prisons might put the most troublesome members of our society out of sight and mind temporarily, but the impact of putting people in prison affects all of us. Not only does it cost us a huge amount of money, Putting people in prison makes it more likely that a person will commit more crimes upon their release. Prison time also increases the likelihood that a person will be chronically unemployed or develop a serious long-term illness. Meanwhile, crime prevention programs such as education, poverty alleviation, and community-based restorative justice cost less, lead to reduced crime, and strengthen the bonds of our communities. We are all part of an interdependent web. Let's support policies that keep all of us as safe as possible.